Hi everybody, it's Alfre Woodard here and welcome to AFI Movie Club. I am so hyped to be presenting Robert Altman's McCabe and Mrs. Miller. Bob gave me my first job. It was in Alan Rudolph's Remember My Name. He gave me my fourth job, which was in Health and he directed me in a play, Two by South, here and in New York. He started off as a life goal for me uh, before I came to Hollywood, uh, but I hit the mother load pretty quickly and he became a dear friend, uh, a mentor, and I used to call him my cinematic godfather, to which of course he would bristle and swear at me, but I had the joy and the good fortune to be able to stand uh, next to one of the the greatest filmmakers, American filmmakers and, and filmmakers internationally in the world of his generation. And so I'm just, like I said, I, I'm beside myself. And it doesn't get much better than McCabe and Mrs. Miller. You know, you don't watch an Altman film as much as you, you inhabit it with the rest of the people because Bob puts you squarely in the middle of, of the action, whether it's the physical or the emotional action, uh, and, and even the repartee of the, the people who populate his films. And there is no more adventurous place to be than in the middle of McCabe and Mrs. Miller. It is a raw slice of American life when America was manifesting its alleged destiny there in the Pacific Northwest. It's a, a rugged love story. So I know you are going to be, those that haven't seen it will be captivated and those that have, it will take you back and you will remember uh, the beauty, the ballsiness, the glory of American filmmaking in that period that I call uh, its, its golden hour. Bob is truly an authentic American voice and his lenses are always uh, cinematic and brimming uh, with that expansiveness as well as the personal at the same time. His films crackle with his rebellious ingenuity. And I am so delighted and so honored to be able to say to you tonight, kick back, enjoy, read them and weep, McCabe and Mrs. Miller.